will never forget this room. This is it, yeah. It took a year. It wasn't easy. I finally got permission to go inside and climb the stairs to Ward 210, the so-called female violent ward, where I was placed when I was 17 years old. Everybody has a moment in their life that they may not want to return to, but a moment that they need to return to. This is mine. This was a crazy place, and not just because of the people they locked up. It was a very crazy place. This 17-year-old single female, her first admission to a state institution has a long history of psychopathology. It was a huge, huge city, and here are these buildings which reached up to the sky in a town where you couldn't build above four stories, filled with patients. This other young patient came to me and she said, do not cry they'll hurt you. And I stopped. And I didn't cry. For 20 years. I would love to go over there, but I just can't go over there. I can't believe that. I just can't, I just can't go up there. My bedroom is, this is creepy. This is right here. One, yeah, it was like this one right here. I want to be standing here and I want to cheer when they smash these buildings because there'll be all my anger and frustration about this place going. I'd love to be in that crane and hit, give it the first whack. I'd love it. I'd love it. <laughs> what I remember is there were only about seven psychologists total for like three to four thousand patients or something like that. But I was given this whole building with all of these patients. I was terrified. I was terrified. I had never had anything to do with psychiatric patients. Never. The greatest thing that ever happened, that there is no longer an institution to house patients. We put all the problems of the world into a ward and locked them away from the public and forgot about them. The Suffolk County Jail is the largest mental health provider in the county. People get sentenced here that probably shouldn't be sentenced here but the judges here in the county don't have any other option. I mean, if you knew there was someone on the outside saying, come, leave, you know, I'll help you do everything, most people would go. Right. So the only thing I thought was that this was my only home. I had no place else to go.